this presentation. The topic of this presentation is process interface with piping. In our last video, we have completed our discussion on design basis. In this video, we will discuss process interface with piping. Process is a very important uh, discipline where we receive all the initial documents to start the piping design. Okay, so we are going to cover all these process BFDs, fluid list, equipment list, piping and instrument diagram, and line list. So piping has interfaces with all engineering discipline. For the initial stage during detail engineering, piping interface with process discipline is very important. That is why we have taken up this presentation that is process interface with piping because to start any piping activity first input required is from process discipline so we need to understand how we are going to interact with process discipline to get all kind of input details so we have uh, listed out these five categories we will try to understand each and every item in this presentation like process and utility flow diagram pfd fluid list equipment list piping and instrument diagram pnids and line list so let us start with pfds the process flow diagram are derived from a block flow diagram but shows far more information such as equipment title with tag numbers etc if you see in the left figure we have one equipment this equipment this equipment numbers are there okay flow direction is there tag numbers are there Okay, so this is the basic information, the first input available with piping from process. PFD is useful for initial layout studies and forms a basis for development of safety flow diagram, material structure diagram and PNIDs. Okay, so even process is having only these PFDs before developing the PNIDs. So this is very important document which is used at initial stage of the project. Then we have fluid list. Fluid list is another important document. It is an input document for piping for the preparation of PMS. So to start developing PMS, the first document is fluid list. Data in fluid list is filled in by process discipline except the following. It consists of following items. If you see uh, this table in between is having all the information which a fluid list is containing. Okay, serial number, fluid code, fluid description, stream description, phrase, operating temperature, pressure, design temperature and pressure, then composition, okay, CO2, S2S, beta X, H2O, chloride content, toxicity, maximum line size, MOC, rating, corrosion allowance, all these things are mentioned in the fluid list. So this is the first input for PMS development. So in this fluid list, few inputs are given by metallurgy team that is toxicity and NACE application, material of construction and corrosion allowance. These three inputs are given by metallurgy and it becomes part of line list. Sorry, the fluid list. Fluid list is ready when piping provides the following input. To complete the fluid list, this information is given by the piping team. Once we add this into the piping uh, input into this fluid list, it becomes complete fluid list. It is used for further design activities. Then there is an equipment list. Equipment list is required by piping for development of overall plot plan, 3D modeling, primary pipe routing studies. So let us understand what are the various items listed in the equipment list. Equipment tag number, equipment description, quantity. Suppose there are two pumps, so quantity will be two. Equipment type, pin ID number, material, process parameters, design conditions, dimensions, weights, and some remarks are there. So, at initial stage of the project, this becomes a very important document to start equipment layout. Next is a very important document that is process and instrument diagram, PNIDs. This is the basis for piping layout design. 
So Pinadi is a pictorial representation of plant that shows all the equipment associated piping, instrumentations and insulation. Okay, so it contains all this information. The document is of prime importance and all design disciplines must conform to the Pinadis. It is also a means of communication between plant designer and operator or owner. Primary responsibility of Pinadi lie with process engineer, but technical inputs are required from other disciplines also. For example, piping, instrumentation, mechanical, electric, all disciplines contribute to this basic document. So if we talk about in details, Pinadi shows the following general information. All equipments are there, including spares, associated piping, including valves, line fitting, strainer, reducers, flanges, spectacle blind, actuated valves, complete instrumentation, PSVs, respirator disc, process requirements, if any slope or minimum distance are required, that has to be covered in notes, but it has to be part of PNID. Equipment elevations, drain and vents, PNIDs are, uh, are made not to scale, but in realistic proportion and relative locations. Main process lines are shown as a bold arrows are indicated for flow traction continuation arrows are at either end of the drawing so all this information is mentioned in pinadi so pinadi becomes the basic document for all discipline in the starting of the project we take mto based on this uh, information provided here initial state of the project okay so pinadi is a very important document and it is starting point for all engineering design So in Pinadis, legend Pinadis are also there. Okay, legend Pinadis consist of following part: journal legends, equipment legends, piping legends, instrumentation legends. If you see, we in Pinadis we use so many symbols. So in the starting of the Pinadi, we have a few Pinadis mentioning all the legends details. If you see here, Pinadi numbering system. How we are going to number the Pinadi document okay suppose in a project we have 80 90 Pinadis so there should be a numbering system to that so that numbering system should be indicated in Pinadi legend Pinadis okay and piping class what does piping class mean I mean if there are five if there are four digit each digit has to have some meaning so everything is mentioned in legend Pinadis okay so piping symbols are there Reducer, flanges, valves, spectacle blinds. Okay, line numbering. How each and every line is numbered. That numbering system has to be mentioned in Legend Pinadi. So there are few Legend Pinadis where all uh, coding is mentioned. How we are going to use in detailing detailed Pinadis. So this becomes a very important document along with Pinadi. So let us discuss what are the various important informations which are mentioned in PNIDs. Okay, first one is line numbering. Project specification line numbering philosophy is followed. Typically any line numbering containing fluid code, unit number, line number, size, spec, insulation, tracing requirement, this has to be part of line number. So after that insulation or heat tracing, if it is required, it has to be mentioned in the PNID. Then fittings, reducers, T flanges, plant flanges, all fittings with the exception of elbows are identified in the PNAD. So fitting MTO we can always take from PNAD. This is the base document which is available with us at the starting of the project. Elbows depend on the line routing and hence are not depicted in the PNAD. So this is elbow and pipe length which is calculated by piping engineer to finalize the material. Wells, pipe, single or double isolation, everything is mentioned in the PNAD. Now, this is very important thing. The selection of type of well depend on the function it has to perform. Okay. So, this has to be decided by process engineer only. Piping layout engineer has to refer this PNAD where this type and function is mentioned. Typically, throttling well, isolation wells, operating temperature govern the selection. Based on temperature, which is a governing factor. 
process engineer selects the type of wire. Typically, wall or gate wall for isolation, globe or needle for throttling, butterfly for low delta pressure temperature service, metal seated walls for greater than 180 degree Celsius. So, this is the selection criteria of the wire which process engineer has to follow. Okay, based on this, they select the type of wire and mention in the planning. Choice of single or double block wall depends on the safety. That also mentioned in the isolation philosophy, which is developed by process engineer. Then typical wire descriptors, CSO, CSC, LO, local phone, low close, everything is mentioned in the finities. Then typical graining arrangement, that has to be part of uh, finity only because that is decided by process. Spec breaks, which spec has to be used up to what point by spec has to be used, spec breaks they need to mention so this all become part of pinati typical nodes if there is a requirement of free draining slope or no pocket then process engineer has to identify and mark in pinati only most of the time these are covered through nodes only then time points scope splits these are all part of pinati so this is uh, known to process engineer at the starting of the project so they have to mark it in pinati only so if you see, this is all important uh, things which are part of PNAD and we have to refer PNAD to get all this information. Then another one important document which we receive from process is line list. Line list is a document which provides the following information. Line size, line number, material class, including pipe printing, material construction, service and phase pinady reference from to information is also there from where this line is originating and where it is going everything is mentioned in the line list then operating temperature pressures are also part of line list design conditions are mentioned insulation tracing and painting requirements are also part of line list right. test pressure test medium process critical and piping stress critical that everything we become, everything we mark in line list and it becomes part of this document. Post weld heat treatment, radiography, chemical cleaning requirements, we can always mention in line list. So to get all this information, we need to refer line list. This is the base document to get this information. Then if you see this uh, line list, although this is a document from process but few informations we uh, process discipline receive from piping for example test medium test pressure stress information this is given by piping and process fills this information into their line list and data to be filled by metallurgy insulation and painting requirements entity pwhd requirements this information is given by metallurgy department and this becomes part of line list so if you see the purpose is to uniquely identify each line and provide design parameters for other engineering activities. So to get this uniquely identified uh, things, we have to refer line list only. So document forms and unique input for piping discipline for MTO generation, preparation of 3D model, stress calculation and isometric generation. So if you see the isometric should be generated at uh, later stage of the project, by that time all this information will be freezed and few of the things we mentioned in isometric also. So this becomes a very important document for piping design. So this was all about uh, things which process has to interact with piping or piping has to interact with process or there is an interaction between other discipline. So this is a starting point to develop any plant so that's why this was important so i think you have enjoyed uh, this video in next video in 4.1 section we'll try to cover overall plot plan so see you there